I'm back. So today I thought I'd go and check out some neighborhoods that I haven't uh, explored yet or that are, uh, you know, around <laughs> to check out. Again, the hilly nature of Sudbury makes for interesting uh, suburbs and neighborhoods for sure because they're perched up along rocky outcrops and obviously this is because of the mine site but it makes for some interesting rides for sure I'm also going to uh, I'm just going up ahead here on Winchester seat see what's up here but uh, it also uh, set up my GoPro here uh, hang on pretty steep <clears throat> so I also set up my mount here for a bar ride perspective which <clears throat> which I want to do I tried it a couple times and and it's been okay but the the look that we get from the current settings on the GoPro 11 are pretty good. I want to try them on the bars. So this should look interesting. Hopefully it's not too tilted. There's a bit of a tilt to it, but that's just because uh, it's hard to mount on these bars. So let's uh, see what, we, what this looks like. This street is called Mackey Street. And it's, uh, it's a dead end, but it goes to along the lake. And it's like a point, so there's lake shore on both sides. I imagine the houses here are pretty expensive. Because this is a one beautiful place to be. Wow. You can see the views already are just amazing. Pretty hilly too. It's like a crescent. Let's go around. So I'll probably just finish the rest of the video in this perspective and see what it's like. Really nice.
Yeah, let's take a look at that. <laughs> yeah, he's doing it old, old school. That was me when I was younger in my 20s. <laughs> I used to, I had a little, little bike like like a road bike. He used to fly pretty pretty all over the place with that thing. A little Velospore. A fun bike. So that was pretty cool. I'm gonna check out the next one there. There's another dead end that goes along the lake on just up ahead. I'll just keep everything going there until they run out. See if you like this point of view. Yeah, the bike lanes along here are pretty spotty. So, again, if you're not used to, uh, I've been living in Northern Ontario, Sudbury. It is common for us to ride on sidewalks on bikes because their infrastructure is pretty poor when it comes to like the narrow roads, four laners like this are just too bloody dangerous to be on. And nobody expects you to compete with traffic on a road bike or any kind of bike unless it's got a license plate and it's heavier and faster obviously so let's just see what's down here so yeah so other other cities are not like that obviously but that's not a problem here so this doesn't go anywhere all right Hey, hi. hi. <laughs> oh, now we know what's down. What street is this called? Indian Street. Oh. Let's try this one while we're at it, while we're checking out neighborhoods. Ah. <clears throat> so I kind of ditched the face cam. The face cam um, took a long time to sync, for one thing, and I had to render two sets of videos. So. I didn't think it was worth it, and, and I ended up not really keeping much of it because it, it, the lighting was d distracting uh, the, when it was lit ahead because the camera was facing back into my face. It was face, face was dark and vice versa, so it, was, it threw me off. I didn't put too much of it. I just did a face reveal. Boo, <laughs> picky boo, and uh, left it at that. And uh, now I want to try and get a proper bar perspective now. One of the things with, with sticking a camera on the bars, especially with the audio, is it, it picks up the vibration of the road and it, it just ruins all you hear is the hum of the bars. So now that I have a microphone, I can put it on, but I have to use my GoPro 11 because I have the lavalier mic attachment and the media mod for the proper sound. So if I, if I put it with my, uh, my Hero 11 and my Hero 5, then I have to synchronize everything again I don't know if I like doing that, it takes too long. So just one camera at a time is good enough. We'll just try different angles.
The other thing I can do is switch the angle video. Come on. And and just do a video montage with my phone and see how that blends in better. Okay, so I don't know where I am, but let's just keep going. And so, uh, we'll do a little, <laughs> a little face timing here. How's it going, guys? So, so I'll just do a quick little, put this together and just see what it looks like. No through traffic, so this looks like a dead end. Oh, this is a uh, golf course. Okay, I know where I am now. It'll, cool, all the way. So we'll just uh, always trying out new things. <laughs> Okay, so
I'd like to go down there, but... The sign is pretty direct. No bicycles. <laughs> so, there are lots of people there, too. Such a beautiful town. And growing up, it was completely the opposite. Uh, completely, completely the opposite reputation. Sudbury was not a beautiful town when I was growing up because of the smelter. But man, did, what a difference. This is really very much a uh, a story of how mining it could be done correct correctly it's really inspiring actually most people don't realize it but this is quite impressive what they've done in the space of 40 years Excuse me, sure, that's okay. I should use my bell soon, sooner. <clears throat> a little workout park here. Excuse me, coming through. <laughs> Thank you. 
jumped on the freaking pavement for that. Okay, so there's one little, last little scenic area here. I think we'll just uh, take your time, check out. It's a little boardwalk here. No anchoring. I think this is where the city gets their water from. I think, I don't know. Freshwater lake. The water treatment plant, yeah. Well, this is like a nice place to stop. All right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that ride. I certainly did. And if you like this perspective, let me know. And uh, please like and subscribe. And hope you enjoyed the ride.